All right, so for those of you who are Mac users, this is the track where we're going to install Flutter and all of the related components on your Mac. So first things first, what are the minimum system requirements? Now you're going to need to be running Mac OS and you should have at least 700 megabytes if it is just for the Flutter installation. Now, because when we build our Flutter apps, the whole point of it is that we're going to be able to deploy it on iOS and Android. It means that you'll need Android Studio and Xcode, which are both large applications. So I would say that at least have around 10 gigabytes free on your laptop, if not more, just so that you'll have a smooth experience setting up and installing. Now you should be running Mac OS 10 and ideally Ideally, you should really be on macOS Mojave, which is 10.14. And the reason for this is because if you want to be running your iOS app onto a, say, a physical device that's running the latest version of iOS, iOS 12, then the only way to do that is through having Mojave installed on your laptop. Now, however, you can still get away with having a lower version of macOS if you want to either just develop Flutter apps, Flutter is not that picky about your Mac OS version, but the one application does care is Xcode, which is the software that we're gonna need to be able to deploy our apps onto the iOS simulator or an iOS device. So if you don't mind so much about running on the latest iOS versions, then you can also get away with just having High Sierra as your Mac operating system. Now, first things first, we're going to get started by heading over to flutter.dev slash docs slash get dash started, and you're going to choose your installation track. So a good point to mention at this point is that if you're based in China and the Google servers are blocked, then the Flutter development community have actually set up some mirrors that allow you to download everything you need just the same, even if you're based in China. Okay, so once you're ready, go ahead and choose Mac OS and you'll see a very long list of installation instructions. But don't worry, we're going to go through them together and I'm going to share some of my tips with you as well, just to make it a little bit simpler, a little bit easier um, to get set up. So first things first, you're going to download the installation bundle, which is a zip file. And this is going to contain all of the Flutter code and all of things that are going to enable you to build Flutter apps. So give that a few moments. And once it's done, you should be able to find it in your downloads folder um, and it will be a zip file. So you're going to double click on it to unzip the compressed file. Now, once extraction has completed, you should end up with a folder called Flutter. And if you double click to open it, you'll see all sorts of things that have been shipped. Now, it's important that we move this folder out of the downloads folder and into somewhere permanent. So the ideal place to put it is under your username and maybe in a folder. So down here, you can see that Here's my Macintosh hard drive. There's a folder called users and here is my current user username. And this is where we want to navigate to. Now you can either double click down here or if you can't find that, then simply hold down command and press the up arrow continuously until you get to Macintosh HD and you should be able to go to users and find your username. So once you've got your home folder open, so the one under your username, then here, go ahead and create a new folder and you're going to call it developer and then hit enter. And now we're going to move that flutter folder that we had previously from our downloads into our developer folder. So now you can see the full path is Macintosh HD. So this is the root of our computer, then it goes to users, then to our username, then to developer, to Flutter. Now, once you've done this, then you're ready to move on to the next part, which is a little bit tricky because we have to tap into the terminal. So over here, go ahead and launch Spotlight and you're gonna search for the terminal app. And then once you've found it, hit enter to open it up. Once you've launched the terminal, then we're going to go ahead and open up a file 
called the bash profile. So this is under your username slash dot bash. And the way that we're going to do that is you should see your username right before a dollar sign. And this is what we call the prompt. And you're going to type in vim space dot bash underscore profile. Now make sure that you spelt it exactly the way you see it here. And then you're going to hit enter and you're going to enter what's called vim. And if you're not a vim user, then it can seem a bit weird at first because this is actually a text editor and some people even write code here. Now here is where we're going to add this line, but this part where it says path to flutter directory and including those square brackets, we have to replace with the actual path that we have that navigates to this flutter directory, which is Macintosh HD users slash uh, the username slash developer. So we're going to do this in two parts. We're first going to copy everything up to the colon. So not including that dollar sign. So starting from export all the way up to and including the colon, and we're going to paste it into this bash profile here. So that's the first part. Now the next part, we need to get the path to our flutter folder. So this one right here. And the trick is we're going to hold it and we're going to drag it into our terminal. So it'll put in that entire file path that navigates to this folder into our terminal. And now we're going to add forward slash bin to the very end of our path and close it off with some quotation marks. So in order to insert text and start typing in Vim, you have to hit the I key and I stands for insert. So now we can type forward slash bin and we can close it off with some double quotes. So this is the entirety of the path for me anyways. Um, and I'm obviously using my colleague's computer because I already have Flutter set up and ready to go. But I wanted to be able to show you how to do this because it's kind of fiddly. So what you should end up with is export space path equals. And then here is where we specify that entire path. And the first part came from dragging and dropping the Flutter folder. Now, of course, inside the Flutter folder, we have a folder called bin. And this is what Flutter needs to locate to be able to work from anywhere on your computer. So once you're done and you're happy with this, theoretically, the only part that should be different for you is just your username. If you had saved Flutter inside the developer folder, as we did in the last step. But now that we're done, we're going to hit the escape key and then you're going to type colon, W, Q, and an exclamation mark. And this saves this file and quits the file in sort of crazy Vim lingo. Now there's all sorts of jokes about people never being able to get out of Vim. I hope you're not one of them and I hope you'll be able to continue with me along the course. Once we're done adding the path, we're going to go ahead and quit terminal and we're going to restart it again. And now I'm going to check that everything worked by typing in flutter and dash dash version. So now if I hit enter, it should tell me which version of flutter I'm running at the moment. It's 1.2.1. .1. It also tells me which version of dart I'm running, which is 2.1.2. .1 .2. Now, while we're here, the other command that's really useful in the terminal is flutter doctor. And this will diagnose our little Flutter and see how it's doing. Now, if you get a pop-up like this, just simply go ahead and click OK. And you should now be able to see what is already set up and what's not yet set up. So you can see we've got a whole bunch of crosses in here and we're going to go through them in the next few lessons.